This is Jenny, Jenny of TF2. And I, I guess someone just tossed me into a game suddenly. Thank you, madam, I guess. I'm just, it's a mm. fucking certain Barco server now. <laughs> God damn it. Mm. The bloody cards not moving. Hmm. Okay, now what the hell is going on with them? Hold on. I is he is that is that, is that motherfucker live right now? Hold on. Yeah, they're live. I just asked them to drag us in. Hold on, let's fucking ping this dumbass. Are you even in the server that I'm in? Uh, general discussion. No, no, you're not. I'm gonna disconnect from this fucking server. Let them come. What is he in? Is he in an MGE server? Or, like, yeah, he's doing, I think he's doing 1v1s for training right now. What the fuck are you all doing? Apparently, Aki tells me that Red has zero sense of uh, danger and is constantly getting his ass killed, so he wants me to train him. Oh, what? Hi. Oh, oh I goodness. guess we're if here now. If it's on me while I'm oh. not looking, you die for it. Hello, man. He keeps Get getting himself me, killed idiot. with a lack of a sense of oh, danger. <laughs> I guess. Hmm. Also, should no, I no, join for a casual match or on me? join the uh, 1v1 server? I would love the 1v1. Ow. Why the fuck? Jim, do you, you, want you basically you shut me down. Place? Where are my games? Oh, I'm, I'm hmm. seeing what the hell server that they're in right now. Oh, sad. What dialed you in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Red is a lot louder than everyone else. I'm... Game info, no, not... copy. Console, connect, paste. Hmm. I'm connecting the Red Rose to server as we speak. Yes! Alright. Revenge! Hit. Mm -hmm. What do you mean blacklist server? Is it full? <sighs> Alright. It says missing map. Well then, then let me download the map. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, <not Train>. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. It doesn't like no, you, Jenny. Mm -hmm. You're just too cringe for this map, Jenny. Normally, yes. when you join so a server, it just lets you download the map. Okay, there. Now it it's does, downloading the stupid thing. Yeah. Mm. Hang on. One second. Okay. Okay, Aki. Oh, how, um... how much has Red improved so far over the last week? None. I think he's unimproved. Oh, well. That also being uh, set up. Sorry, right, guys, my mummy came in. I'm gonna have to walk my dogs mm. in like 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, yeah. Jenny, that's this shit. I am literally better with my huntsman than I am at any other comp class. There's He's a doing reason stuff that... with this huntsman that I, I have never seen him die. do before. Haha, uh -huh, it wasn't there. Mm. I love my huntsman because I just do dumb shit with it. This is defined as dumb shit to me. He is a better huntsman than he is anything else in this entire game. Sad. Shouldn't have looped. But I basically just don't here. think. I just do the funny movement mm. that I think will, like, fuck you up. Oh, and then I do the funny. It's funny to me. This is a joke. And that's why it's good to me. Uh, yes, you are a clown, Red Rose. Now make Aki. us laugh. I am, and I'm currently clowning on Aki. Well, uh, trying to. They're currently using an actual sniper, which uh, shuts me down immediately. Not, so, you know, not shuts you down immediately. You're doing better than you would have fucking done it anything else. Well, yes, but I would be doing better if I was fighting a demo man or like anything other than the sniper. That could just actually just click on my head and die, and I die. Like if you had to actually do fucking movement, maybe I wouldn't be doing so hot. But like, who did I just end up wrong with? Uh, hello. Uh, we're in room five. Hmm. Cool. Okay, you're in. Okay, I'll queue for room five. Uh. Fire. Cape Gavin calling. Got a contract no. for you. No. Hmm. I should have picked your hand. No. So many goddamn rooms. We do not piss. We do not piss in this lobby. We are men. 
Can you not couch animals? People, like, couch people are gone. Hold on, let me... I uh, am going to like, call... Should I just be trying to Luxman the demo? Is that the solution? Mm. Like, if I apply my Luxman programming Fine. to this, to demo, I would be fine, probably. Yeah, probably. Mm. Probably be a way harder target. Alright. Um, hey, I hit you though. Ow. Where is it? I'm gonna try and go what? EPs. Mm, cash. The medicine. No. Ow. There we go. You're on the couch now. Super cool. Watch uh, Let's do this shit. Okay. Hmm? Red Rose. Here's a quick. Wait. Okay. Let me ask you a question. When I do this, does it turn my head downwards? Does that make it harder for you to shoot? Not really. No. Like, not if I at do all. This, right? No. There was a game that was it was literally that fucking egregious. No, <laughs> like, you know what it is how, getting me? The, the like fucking I I jumping. This. How is this motherfucker yeah, almost like, an engineer like again? The reason I jump so much. Yeah, they the did not charge, know how to fucking down. aim. So I can get past that by jumping. With fucking grenade launcher. Yeah, yeah, you I'm should be doing sure that with, when you're shooting as a shoot fucking. Bolts. Um, God, yes. Scout. Yes, there are a lot of people in the So I'm just applying my Luxman program. Mm. This is this is good movement, I guess? Yeah. I love Luxman! Mm. I love Luxman! Ow. No. Okay, it looks like Rose is starting Ow. to, to see you later. We'll see you later. Okay. Hope you get to play sometime. Medicine's kicking in. Cheers. Monster mm. check? Okay. Yeah, I'm literally just doing my fucking funny Luxman <laughs> programming, because I would just okay. do this, jump around corners, and, like, do this kind of shit. Because mm. I thought it was really fucking funny to absolutely style on someone with one of these. Because that's what people who Luxman do. They just no, jump around PC in really stupid fucking ways, and, it. like, absolutely, like, it has black screened and then come back from the dead. Not this one, but I, I mean, did have a, a fucking locksman like that. And I have had a fucking computer commit necromancy on itself. Ew. Hmm. That's annoying. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Ugh. Yes. Red Rose, did you know that when you jump, your body moves on a what? predictable path? Yes. I do. Hmm. That's so sad. No. But jumping also makes you harder, and it's not that predictable if you, you know, what know what you're doing mm. with your jump. Wait, bud. Truth be told, you, you want what I think I'm seeing here? You're training, right? Like, you're not actually trying to win right now, right? Uh, yes, I'm training, but I'm also trying to, like, right now I basically am just I sort of like. Class for this. Oh, okay, me, drop. Switch, switch class. <laughs> Uh oh. Okay, my advice to you, Red Rose, is drop, drop the crutches. Like, try something a little bit harder. What, um, what are we doing? What do you mean? We've ah. been training on demo. We basically been training on each. I think it forced us to separate. Um, I am here alone now. I was. This was literally a fuck around match, and we just discovered that I've actually had good movement the entire time, but I did it entirely as a joke. Wait, what? Hmm. Why is Bone now in the in the lobby? I thought I was gonna fight Aki. What the hell's going on here? Yeah, Bone. You got oh no, no. We're only we're only training uh Brett. So Bone or Jenny, one of you have to switch lobbies and then switch back to spectate. Brett is the main character here. I am so one of you switch. Really, yeah. I, this is my training arc. One of you switch. This is my main character. Mm, yeah, can we all switch, 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 switch to, yeah, yeah, switch to, like, like fucking lobby six no, or something? No, press, 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 exclamation point, add, yeah. and then switch to a different arena. Yeah, 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 Should I switch to a different arena? No. You are the main yeah. character. You do not switch. I guess. All right, I'm going to take a piss while y'all figure this out. BRB. Mm. <laughs> Wait. Uh. uh hmm. Where is Red Rose? Are they even in rotation right now? Okay, it's all of us versus Jen. Oh, there we go. It's it's Jenny. Yeah, Which... Red Rose is currently taking eight deaths. Uh, by the way, this is probably um, Red Rose. 
Yes, that is Red Rose. Um, the only the only classes he's going to be playing during this competitive session will be Scout, Demo, or Soldier, or Medic. But you really can't pay, play Medic, so it's going to be Scout, Demo, or, or, or Soldier. Okay, Scout I... first, because that is the main class that he's trying to learn. Then it's going to be Demo, because that's his secondary pick, and then Soldier is his final pick. So okay, mostly I can focus teach him on all Scout. three of those. Mostly, fo I want you to 99% focus on Scout. Hone him in on Scout. All right, Ooh. I can teach him Scout. I know exactly how to play Scout, but my aim isn't, you know, 100% perfect, but I know exactly how. I mean, hey, if you want to, uh, I mean, I, I was playing Scout against him, and he was like, what the fuck type of movement was I doing? Because I was jumping around him and shit. Like, I've learned how to play Scout now. I could probably beat you. Oh Red, you're still in your... <laughs> uh, uh, also, yeah, um, oh, mm -hmm. hey, and boner fighting. Yeah, I mean, we have to do something on our streams while waiting uh, for the fucking protagonist yeah. boy to piss. Well, I didn't expect you to stream, but okay. I'll be back. You... Hello. Oh, fuck. Uh, you see, I see we figured it out. Uh, here's oh. my thing. I kind of got rocked my How dog. How much the demo actually have? So I might just extend the break. All right, I'm. Right. Like, Hold on, I'm gonna. Go? Oh, you, you are going to charge in a predictable pattern, and I'm going to kill you anyway. All right. I know. You need to walk, dog. Is it okay? Yeah, I need to walk my dog. Can I do that? Okay. Okay. You have fun. I'll be back. I've, I've been blue balled. <laughs> I have been, I have been blue balled. You're a plant. <laughs> you a plant. <laughs> Your plan did not work, you silly Billy. Oh fuck! I'm hmm. too fast for you. Ah, uh ah, -huh. uh, fuck! I did not stick a jump in time. No, no, you did not. Ah, fuck you, dumb bitch. Oh, you still hit me. Ah! Okay, the... <laughs> Oh god, you charge faster than my... in my things can detonate. I killed myself that time. I'm so fast! <laughs> Oh wait, does oh no, actually that's oh no, no this is bad. Uh, me practicing my fucking paladin while you have the islander is not a good idea. Hmm. Okay, fuck. Each. Okay. Just waiting for, just waiting for him to walk his dog. Just waiting for him to. Yep, boop. Yep, boop. Okay, worst comes to worst, I have to pull out the direct hit. Use the lock and load. It's basically the direct tip, but for demo moon, from my understanding. It's not know. worth uh... it. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's no way for me to. Hi. Ooh, you fucking. Oh, <laughs> oh my head. Well, since Red is out walking his dog, I guess I'll just attempt to ch teach the chat how to play Scout properly and not fuck up. Yeah, you could probably fight Aki. Well, hmm. So, first you could have also first, fighted me if Jen First things first, Aki Scout is a greedy leader. bastard. Scout wants that high ground all the time. No exceptions. He does not let anybody up there. Oof. The no-fly zone and it's Scout who's the controller. Enjoy the rollers. Uh, no, oof. no, I don't think I will. <laughs> Scout especially wants the constant high ground so we can avoid uh, soldiers' rockets as often as possible. Oof. Fucking no. love, Madam's like, you're gonna go in a predictable pattern that I can take advantage of. No! Yeah, which I am then going to kill myself landing a direct pellet on. Wait, what? I didn't even right. heal from that death. 
Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, that's because it's a... Uh... All right, I may have to... Hmm. Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. We got to a new limit. Do you want me to bully you a little? I think I'm going to bully you a little. Immediately gets cracked. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I just need a second. What do you mean a second? You're going to fucking die. <laughs> Oh, wait a second, I need some ammo. <laughs> Hold on, I need a- Oh, Hold on, okay, I just need mm -hmm. a second to recharge my shield. You mean your bitch ish bapper? Hold on, I need a second to recharge my clip. Uh, okay. <laughs> recharge clip, shoves rockets in cylinder. Okay. Mm. You're lucky oh, I don't have enough fucking health to rocket jump over us, you piece of shit. Hmm. I'm fucking dead. Devil man is fucking dead. <laughs> you know it's always funny it's when like, like Devil Knight starts approaching you and you just take out a shotgun and they're not expecting it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna turn it up. Hmm. Juicy. Oh fuck you. Oh you fucking. The one in weakness, they can jump over it. Bones one weakness themselves. Hmm. Well, I was going to say my one weakness is jumping over the blast radius of the fucking direct hit, but yeah, I guess I fuck myself up sometimes too. No. The medic one two one two says, <laughs> okay, which Hi, one are we gonna go? The Jenny MGE stream. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when Red Rose VTuber comes back. Uh, I'm going to attempt to teach him how to play PF2 like a proper professional, mm. um, but uh, they're currently walking their mm. dog. Yeah, they're gone the fucking beach episode of their training arc. What? No, a beach <laughs> episode would involve oh, like it. scantily clad clothing. Oh, maybe they're walking the dog in a bikini? I don't know, Red Rose. It's Florida. Is that, that what you want British. us to imagine? You want us to imagine Red Rose in a bikini walking the I dog? I just realized you have the conch. Oh. You <laughs> yeah, what? You think if I had a shotgun, I was going to pull it out on you by now. Yeah, pull it out on me. Why don't you? Just pull it out already. No, you piece of... Hmm. Your pull-out game's not very good, madam. <laughs> Fuck. Hmm. Kill 500 enemy soldiers! Funny enough, I got that achievement, uh, I think last time I streamed. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah I, I know how to flick shock this thing, bitch. I just need some warm up. Nope. nope. <sighs> fuck. Oh. Ow, the oh, oh, the air shot. shot! Fuck you, Cotton! <laughs> I'm gonna let you kill me just so that I can clip that. <laughs> okay, so that taunt deals of ma uh, immediate 500 damage. Yes, as do most taunt kills. Do they? Run? Yeah, no, they sure edit the taunt has various has various different uh, <laughs> damage. Uh, most taunt like, kills um, do exactly on, 500 wait. damage. There are some rare exceptions. Hmm. Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually want to. Uh, how the fuck do you change your loadout? You got the respawn again. Yeah, you gotta give me another a kill if you want to change that loadout now. Yeah, let me change your loadout for you. Yeah, like uh, this one. Hold on, stand still, madam. Stand still. Like this one, actually, I think the damage can decrease over time. Yeah, this one only deals two hundred damage. Hmm. Like it's this won't. Depending. Yeah, like hmm. this one won't kill a heavy. If I, ha if I get a heavy in that, it's he's not gonna die. No, the heavy dies. It's a... Mm, like, isn't it supposed to do damage based on your maximum... No, that's for knife. All taunt kills yeah, no, do hard. around 500. The whole point of a taunt kill no, is that it has... It, yeah, that it one kill. was nerfed because it has such a big radius. Oh, yeah, but it also has a big radius. And also the damage... Yeah, that was just fucking it. weird. Like this one disperses base the damage based off of how many people get caught in it. Like I'm pretty sure if you have like five people in it, only one of them will die. 
I'm yeah. just talking a dumb and dumb anyway. at this point. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, I opened the console. Come on. Oh, come on, the fucking. Come on. Yeah, it's the quick. It's the fucking. I love I'll the take direct watch that you all do. Hold on. Yeah, hold come on. Here, bitch. Okay, okay, come on. Was... Mm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm trying to. Okay, I. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you. Oh, what's that? Oh, you're not used to reflecting the direct hit yet? No, no one is. <laughs> I've seen some people that know how to do it. Also, guess what? You'll never what? catch me now, Mr. Krabs. You oh, I might be trying to do the conch to kill me. <laughs> yeah, I activated mm. the conch. I had rage. That's what I meant by you'll never catch me now. No, I, I saw that. Some people pronounce yeah, Jenny it conch, was asking. some people pronounce oh. it conch. But the whole point of the weapon is that it's called the, the Conqueror. Fuck? I swear to God, people mm. complain about Pyro's fucking hitbox, but I swear it doesn't fucking work with the direct hit. Their, their body is very rocket-shaped, I'm sorry. Like, their body's just great at receiving rockets for some reason. Hmm. They're clearly not, because you're not hitting me very much. I'm watching Cotton Air Blast after little... the explosion occurs. You, you're hitting me like... N you're, you're hitting me when you're like, right up next to me. And have you considered it is the direct hit? And that I do not have splash damage? Hmm? And yeah, that when I do hit you, I fucking kill you. Also, you had... Hmm. Hmm, yeah, but if it looks like I'm killing you perfectly fine here. Hmm. Oh, you fucking asshole, you jump. Okay, cool. There we go, there we go. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Alright, hmm. Also, how's you, how are your uh, duel going, Jenny, if you're fighting anyone? I'm not fighting anyone, I'm watching YouTube, you stupid. Hello, I'm back. Correction, I'm now going to duel someone. I'm also back. Come on. Right. Let's fight. Show me who's right, now, I'm back. So, now I am what, here what, to teach so you how to play Scout. To it's so fucking wild. Yeah, to yeah. Me. Jen is the person you'd want to teach fucking Demo Man. Right, change the Scout. We're teaching you something. Scout. Hey. Mm. Red. Red. I'm yeah, literally here teach to teach you. Stories. You're trying to go in all this competitive shit. You want me to teach you or not, fucko? Let's do oh it. Oh my god. It's just insanely funny to me that apparently my career. Yeah, once I fucking warm up with this thing, and it fucking works. Should have been switched. I've, I've, I think I've I given Xano fucking nightmares of this thing. I need to get a like, kill streak, you know, special version. Because normally kill I can streak, get around uh, with just like standard. Yeah. Yeah. I need to get you. Oh, oh fuck, what the hell? Wait, what? Okay, do you so want me to switch to something? Okay, you're going to go soldier to see if you can act direct hit to out rocket me. Hmm. Yeah, I, like, I oh, it's all There's it a lot of talking in here. Should we split this? Yes. All right. Hmm. Uh, we'll go to. Do we want to put most of them in want to join, or do we want to go to want to join? Put I don't know. Put Cotton and Madam Bone in want to join. I don't know. Put me in want to join too. All right, you're going to want to join. All right. All right. So, yeah, oh it's God, just incredibly funny. Oh God, you're taking a lot of my screen. Hold on, let me. Fucking shrink your ass down here. <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. So when now I look, did, you're when trying I to join that sixty-six shit, right? I'm used to like pub. I'm used to like pub gameplay, which is walk around like an NPC and miss, but they'll generally like it'll work, right? Because it's fucking pub and it's a like a shit house. But I, but like I exclusively pulled out that advanced like movement and shit as a fucking uh, joke exclusively to pull out on players in pubs and Luxman them because it was funny. I didn't even know that that was considered quote unquote good movement. I just considered it incredibly nonsensical and unnecessary. Understandable. Um, okay, so I'm gonna so teach now you I, So now I know how to move. All right, but now I'm gonna teach you some of the, 
I'm going to teach you a few things about being an advanced scout. Um, we're not really going to do as, as, so much fighting as much as I'm going to be displaying things for you to remember, okay? Thank God. All Aki did was shit on me. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, being, I'm being a teacher. Okay. Um, first thing, you've probably already noticed that when Scout does his double jump, he can magically change the direction of his momentum, right? Yes. That, in constant close range fights, is your, basically your only asset for survival. When you jump, your ability to just immediately just change direction to defy physics allows you to uh, bait out a yeah, soldier's so rockets on, or other Tokyo. projectiles. Oh fuck, hang on. What? Uh, hey, Vinyan crashed. What's it? Mm. Uh, my avatar. Oh. My little VTuber. Okay, well how long is that going to take to restart? Uh, restarting now. Okay. Uh, I'll give you like two minutes, and I'll continue. Oh, please don't kill my computer. Thank you. Uh, and my game crashed. I love my computer. It does all the things I need it to do, like work. <laughs> oh, and it also muted all my sound, right. Even funnier, when you died, a little chocolate bar popped out. Yep, there we go, fixed. I can now hear bar. you again. Okay, let me let me reconnect to that server. Hey, I found an item. Yep, just waiting for you over here. I'm still in room five. Okay, connect. And hey, what's the IP again? I okay, don't have it pasted. No. You could go in the community server searcher bar. One of the top tabs is the friends tab, and you could use that to see what server oh, I'm okay. in the I joining. Forgot about friends tab. I forgot about friends tab. Yeah, and if push comes to shove and you're too stupid to do that, you can always grab the IP by right-clicking me in Steam, and then view game yeah, info, okay. and then you could do you could type in console connect and then a space bar and then the IP address. Yep. Yep, just, just waiting for you in here to teach you the yeah, things. Yeah, I'm literally, I am connecting. And I am changing that song into another song. That one's fucking weird. Fuck you, Mexico City Blues by Leo Murray. Okay, so what do I do? It's, con uh, what is it? Uh, uh, accept or something? Add. Five. Okay. What's up, gamer? Now for the actual teaching. Okay. So, well, I'll get, I'll get back on ground level. But yeah, like... Now, here's, uh, here's the trickiest oh, part. Yeah. Um, like, I'm going to teach you various things, but the biggest part about Scout is obviously the fact that he's a close-range character and he needs to land his shots like no shit. Um, to be more specific with you, um, the regular shotguns the other classes have does a base damage of 60, and at closest range, the multiplier is um, an additional 50%, so it does up to 90 maximum. However, the scout has an interesting benefit. Uh, his base damage on the shotgun is exactly the same as the others, but the maximum ramp up, instead of 50%, it's 75%. This allows him to Damn, do slightly over bad. 100 damage um, with his closest range shots. So, uh, for example, watch how much health you have after I do this. Ow. That hurt a lot. Now, now how much health do you have health. That's off of, that was 100 health. 104, actually. That, yep, that's Scout's, that's basically Scout's maximum damage, 104. So essentially, roughly. my job as Scout is to do the funny Huntsman movement, turned up to 11, and push. And yes. also flank and all that. Yeah, so here's the other thing. There's two There's two ways you're going to be fighting a Scout. Either you're going to catch someone off guard on a flank. 
Okay, you are blipping way in and out. I said, either you are going to be approaching someone from their flank and then hitting them with a very high damage meat shot followed by whatever smaller shots you do, or if you're in a direct 1v1 fight, um, it's very unlikely you're going to be in very close range. So it's more likely you're going to be hopping around like this and you're going to be using the size of your clip size and to slowly chip away at their health until they're dead. Which is also why the pistol is important, because you'll eventually run out of shotgun shots against some enemies. A lot of your enemies are going to be overhealed. That fixed my aim. I I treated it like I was doing Huntsman, and suddenly my aim wasn't so... uh, 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 uh. It was, like, just smooth around you. Like, around, as close as I could track. But I wasn't, like jittery and freaking out like half the time i would go like uh, 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 right and i'd miss right like um in that one fucking video he was like trying to expect something where he shouldn't have and he was like moving off i do that so fucking much that i've had to like mentally think of it but when i when i do prediction i don't do that when i do demo man that's gone when i do huntsman that's gone you have to remember. I am learning scouts as... by a hunting, and this is the wildest shit to me. Yeah. So, uh, what you gotta remember is that um, you're not always gonna land every single shot, but you need to at least increase the chance that you're gonna have a shot land. And that's the yeah. major difference. It's like it's like poker. You don't don't try to go and thinking every hand's gonna be good. You know some hands are not gonna be good, but you want to increase the chances that you'll do fine. Um, but yeah, like I said, two major ways of playing scout. Either um, you're getting, uh, you know, flanking them in, getting some high damage off the first shot and finishing them off with whatever else you got in your arsenal. Or if it's a yeah. direct 1v1, you're trying to keep yourself at relatively medium distance so they can't hit you and you're slowly chipping their health away while dodging them constantly. You're essentially like a little fucking bug that just keeps biting them repeatedly and flying around while they're trying to swat you but they can't. This is also That's why fair. it's good that Scout has six shots in his scatter gun and that he has 12 shots in the pistol in case he's, the fight's still ongoing, which is really important because guess what? In competitive red, the medics actually overheal people. <laughs> Did you know that? Oh, they do that? Yeah, they do that. <laughs> which means yeah, I'm coming like straight fighting... from pubs. Yeah, so you're so you're gonna be fighting enemies that are higher than their base health, which means you need the extra shots for the longer fight engagements. Because guess what? You might also be overhealed. Um, in fact, medics will very often Probably quickly not, just, so like out. spend a second to overheal you and then move to the next target. Uh, that's fair. I've had that happen a little bit on Uncle Topia. Yeah, um, I especially do it though. I see a scout and I give him a quick overheal and just let them run off because that extra health will save their life easily. Um, That's so fair. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm, know. I'm used to the mentality of scouts deserve absolutely fucking nothing and they go last in every teleporter line. That's like, understandable. That is my mentality with scouts. You don't heal them, you have a heavy to heal. You don't teleport them, you have people to teleport. They don't get anything. So seeing that is kind of a stark difference from pubs. Yes, but sometimes scout can use a teleporter so long as like there's nobody As long as no one else is there. Queue. Yeah. Well, right, but like I have legitimately never been overhealed as a scout until I until like yesterday, when I hit an Uncle Topia server. Well, I did most of my streaming career on Uncle Topia servers, to be quite honest with you. See, uh, I can I just say, holy fuck, thank you for like actually talking me through this shit, because <laughs> Aki just sort of was like, okay, we're gonna learn how to fight. Oh, you're fucking cooked for an hour while in front of all my fucking friends. For like three <laughs> hours, it was just, you're cooked, you're cooked, you're cooked, you're not doing good. You're like actually fucking teaching me, holy shit. Yeah, Thank I've, I've you. been sometimes told I'm a good teacher. Actually, fun fact, no, when I originally started teacher. streaming, I was gonna go with you the theme of uh, teaching, but no one cared for it, so. No, 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 listen. It's not just you're a good teacher, you are a teacher. Aki was a DM partner. Aki is a sparring partner. Where they're sort of going over stuff, but then they watch me do it and fuck up. 
And it's like they try to sort of like they they lecture me on stuff, but it's like in the way of a sparring partner. You uh, sit me down and just sort of lecture me for a bit. I see. Oh, by the way, when you do shoot someone, you do have damage. Because communication on skills from like Aki crew. What's up? I said when you damage other people, you notice how damage numbers pop up, correct? Yeah, funny number. Now, um, do your damage numbers show each individual piece of damage, or does it show it add up on your screen? Uh, they do individual pieces of damage. Change that Should setting. Should I set that to add up? Yes, there's a setting that lets you change it from showing the individual instances yeah, to adding that. up. Let's see, hit sounds, default, I've replaced those with my funny Michael Rosen sound. Uh, and I know that's allowed. Accumulate damage text. That's good. So now if I go... No, that's not working. Try repeatedly hitting and seeing if it accumulates. 35-35. That's strange. Did you hit the apply button when you changed your setting, or is you, are you in the advanced uh, settings? I guess. I just hit apply on my standard settings, but that was in advanced settings. Hang on, let me... Let's make sure that setting gets updated before we continue. Okay. Accumulate. Da, da, da. Ow. I was just testing. I don't think I have damage accumulation on either. I don't think about it. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's there. It only accumulates though if the damage received is fast enough. Okay, so, it's, for example, it's, it, it just wasn't fast enough. Yeah. 60 damage. Okay, good. So now we know it works. We'll move on. Okay, so just to show you the difference though, um, remember at medium range, scouts, scatter gun essentially behaves like a regular shotgun. And you know how the regular shotgun's damage isn't always amazing, right? Right. Because. Cause, well, we're gonna have spread like that, right? Square spread. Yes. Also, I did ask if random crits were enabled. Random no, crits are disabled not. and weapons have fixed spread. Correct. Does that, Those are does that mean there's settings. no spread? Or does that mean it is spreading in a fixed way? Fixed spread is for anything that has multiple bullets come out at the same time. So, that. But... Okay, does that mean my pistol's gonna be a laser beam? No. It means that anything that shoots multiple bullets all at once, like a scatter gun or shotgun. a shotgun, are going to have it's a fixed spread. pattern. Yeah. Well, Pistols right. are still but have I'm wondering if spread. that affects my pistol, or does it not? The pistol will still be random. The first bullet will always be um, a laser, though, which is normal in the mm -hmm. game anyway. So sad. So if I just go... Yeah, no. so for example, for the very first bullet, if you shoot the if you aim your crosshair at me right now and pull the trigger once, you'll notice it'll hit perfectly. Ow. See? I'm almost out of ammo. Why? Probably because I dumped it all. Yeah, it's because you dumped it all, Darius. Anyway. Um Okay, so you There's understand this. In that, uh... Now Something you'll have to yes. learn when aiming a scout. Here, stand still. What? Oh yeah, Aki told me about that. Uh, yeah. Apparently I can just sort of clear your head. So, yeah, if if you jump, if you jump in the middle of combat and then you do a second jump, preferably with the crouch button as well, you can hop directly over your opponent, which is something that's kind of unique to scouts. Um, but also, here's the here's the bitch of a thing. Really, really fucking good scouts are able to do this motion and also shoot at you by looking down. Now that's fucking annoying, because remember, when you jump and then you are hopping over them, at the same time, your crosshair can't like go below this 90 degree angle here. You can't just like shoot between your legs or something. Um Hey! Yeah, so 
if you it. could get used to hopping like directly over someone's head and shooting downward, that would be helpful. But it's difficult to learn because the way a mouse moves like this, it's very unusual to aim up like this or aim really low like this. It's it's very unnatural for a normal gameplay. That's it's something you'd have to practice CFC shooting at people down. directly from directly above them while hopping over them. Um, if you can manage that complexity of a shot, um, then you'll be able to manage the uh, other ones much easier too. I think I've got the idea. Now, please also note, um, I know all the techniques, but I am not an expert um, uh, hit. I'm not an expert um, uh, what's, hit scan. That's it. Hit scan is um, when something hits instantly in a game instead of projectile. Yeah. Um, I am not um, a fucking expert aiming hit scan player. However, I'm a very fucking good projectile player. Um, however, I still know all the tips and tricks and everything. That's why I'm teaching you. Because you, you might have better reflexes than me. I don't know. Um, oh, I have dog ass reflexes. No, never mind. Anyway, um, okay. Bold. So you you understand the basics of the combat now of scouts. You're either um, flanking them and getting some fat damage off, and then finishing them off, or in a one on one engagement, you're basically at medium range most of the time, and you're slowly whittling down their health while dodging them. Um, because of your speed, um, you also have the unique ability to just fucking leave. <laughs> if you're in the middle of a, yeah, a conflict, or I, you I see, like, that. a teammate show up, you could just, just run the fuck away and just ignore them. Just, just, just leave. You could just fuck off and live. <laughs> the ability yeah, to fuck off and live cannot be right underestimated. There. The trouble with that is, they can push the flank now. <laughs> Okay. And that may actually just fuck up the entire team, so I really don't have that option, but I have the option. Okay. So now you understand the basics of the two forms of engagement for the scouts. You understand the most advanced version of being in the middle of a fight with the scout to do high damage while dodging. Um, now you need to understand the grounds that the scout keeps. The scout hates low ground. Low ground is death. If you are scout, you are constantly trying to hold the high ground, basically 24-7, even on things that seem weird or minuscule. So, for example, um, let me just hop over here. So, if you hop over here for, for a moment. Oh. All right, I double jumped as I walked off that, so sad. Now... If you were about to engage me from, let's say, either in the middle there or maybe up there, what what thing do you think I would do as a scout right now? Look up. Look up and shoot me. I would turn right, across here to, to shoot you, level, right? too, yeah. but I'm talking about my body placement. Where do you think I would go as a scout the second you lay your eyes on me and I know we're going to fight? Think, I'm thinking we're going that way. No, that's low ground. You're already going <laughs> anyway. to I just said, <laughs> low ground is death for a scout. Well, yes, but if I'm looking at you and you're and you're pointed this way, I assume you're going to go this way or down the path to the bridge where the objective usually is. Okay, look, a competitive scout would never do that, especially if you're standing up there. You know what a competitive scout does? They do one of two things. Um, but both of them involve gaining higher ground. Either... I'm going to shoot you and then immediately go towards this barrel just so I can get a little extra height. And the reason is so when I have this little extra height, if needed, I can double jump off this little extra height and go this way and then that way. And then immediately I just side flanked and created a flank route where there was none. If I didn't hop in that barrel, I would have never been able to do that. That's one way. The other way is that if you caught me like this, I may try to gain distance while gaining high ground. So for example, I might try to hop over here. And now that I'm over here, you feel, will feel you might need to chase me. And if not, we'll just do a long range fight for a little while. Um, or okay. um, if I wanted to, I can attempt to approach you from here and then do a quick shot and then use gravity to fall down and then skirt the side of the wall so it's harder to hit me because I'm fast. And then I could just run up right around this curve if needed. 
Either method I just did involves keeping the high ground as often as possible because Soldier can hop up to the high ground anytime he wants, very fast. But Scout, yeah. Scout doesn't have vertical mobility as much. He has horizontal mobility. His legs are fast and he has a second jump, meaning that he can go horizontal, horizontally to places easier than other classes can. So Scout, because he's good at horizontal, but sucks at vertical, wants to constantly keep the vertical height to make up for his weakness. Also, keeping the vertical height means that um, they can't like try to explode rockets on the ground because they can't see the ground as much because Scout's on the higher ground. They will have to rocket jump up to the Scout, and if they do that, they take away a little bit of their own health to try to fly up and engage the Scout. Right, but yeah. So do you see how important even a little bit of high ground is now for our competitive scout? I suppose, yeah. I don't really have any practical experience with it, but I get the theory of it. It's, yeah, it's not just a theory, it, it's, it's fucking living. Like I said, even just this tiny example here, this little, this little barrel here, gaining a little bit of height allows the scout here to walk forward, take that jump, and then turn this into a flank route by defying physics with the second aerial jump. And even here, you'd think that I can't really get to that platform over there, but I have the height and I can defy physics with my second jump. Huh, interesting. That is, ex okay, I think you're starting to grab um, the strengths and weaknesses of Scout now on a competitive level. I suppose. He's, he's a hot, he's a glass cannon in competitive. He's a glass cannon that is very important, though. Uh, he's trying, he dodges and chips away the health of his enemies. And on the chance that you're a flanking Scout, um, you're trying to get a fat amount of damage in as a surprise, and then you're going to do the usual dodging motions and slowly chip them away um, as needed. If you're able to get the first shot in close, though, you'll do 100 damage, and if you can manage to do a second shot in close, you can insta-kill um, every single squishy. In other words, you could, you could two-shot another scout if you make it that, that way. You probably won't. Um, you won't... You will uh, two-shot the medic. Two Here's shot. the thing. Do you, yeah, so you do know in competitive... Um, they never play two medics. Out. Pyro, maybe? No, he's got 200, right? Okay, he's got so here's the healths. Scout has 125. Uh, then you have Soldier, that is 200. Pyro has 175. Demo Man right. has 175. Engineer has 125. Heavy has 300. Medic has 150. Sniper and Spy have 125. Fair enough, I guess. This also means that overhealing does up to 50% additional health. So, um, when a scout is overhealed, they'll be at 185, which means you could technically still two-shot them if at closest range. Um, a medic in a 6v6 format, just... Are you aware of what classes are always used in a 6v6 format? Um, they gave us six classes to choose from, which was flank scout, flank scout main party scout, uh, Roamer or Party Soldier, or uh, uh, the party classes are combo classes. Combo okay. Scout, Flank Scout, uh, Combo Soldier, a Roamer Soldier, Demo Man, Medic. Very good. It's very structured. Now here's the thing. In a pub game, um, so in, the, in competitive, you can only have one Medic per team. Um, now that also yeah. includes Highlander, and Highlander is just one of all nine classes on Payload. Um, okay. Hello, Dino. Welcome to the stream. I'm being a teacher. Um, now, in all competitive cases, because a team can only have one Medic, that means that Medic will never be overhealed, unlike the rest of his teammates. Meaning that the, yeah, so the Medic is especially yeah. vulnerable. 
Um, however, their teammates will likely be overhealed to some extent. Um, I wonder so, if Sandman's banned. So a good amount of uh, fighting is going to be you constantly doing tiny chip damage to start to try to get rid of that overheal that your opponent has. And then as you get closer, that's that's your, your real fight. But even doing tiny bits of damage, like you being that far away, and let's say I do like eight damage from like a bullet, um, that's still that's still like a second or two less of overheal you have. Also, just so you know, overheal, no matter what class, um, maximum overheal is an extra 50% of their base health, and that overheal drains over exactly 15 seconds. Which means the longer you also engage them as a scout and fuck around them, the longer um, that overheal may drain away, in case they're dodging you. The longer you make the fight go, um, the more they're gonna struggle a bit. Um, however, that also means your overheal will also disappear at the same rate. Um, but if you don't have overheal and you can see they do because they got the little pluses uh, flying yeah, off of them, you I'll want to draw, out. drag out, you either run away or you want to draw out the fight longer. Fair enough. Madam Bones says sexy teacher bunnies in the house. Really? <sighs> Whatever. Uh, execute that person. Execute that man. I don't know if Madam Bones is trans. Ex execute them. Just have. I want them dead for that. Okay, so we've gone over different very. We've gone over various fighting strategies. The extreme importance of the horizontal mobility and keeping the high grounds to make up for lack of vertical mobility. Um, let's see anything I'm missing here? Um, I suppose the last thing to teach you for scout is, um, I guess two things. Uh, one, if someone launches an explosive at you, don't be afraid to crouch jump and ride the explosion when it hits. Yeah, so you I tried, get I tried to do that with Aki, except they keep directing me. Ah, fair enough. And... Um, the other thing to note is that often scouts in competitive 6v6 will use the Boston Basher um, as their melee. To build, build overheal, yeah. Yeah, specifically to hurt themselves so that they're not at max yeah, med overheal. Medical Uber. Yeah. Did I say overheal? Yeah, I did. Ow. Okay, so you've now gone through a proper competitive crash course of scouts. You understand each of the things you need to know. I guess the last thing you should know is probably some basic damage numbers. Um, like I said, shotgun's base damage is 160. It can ramp up to slightly over 100. The pistol, its base damage is 15. Um, and at closest range, it can ramp up to 22 damage per bullet. Scout's melee does okay. 35 damage per melee, unlike the usual 65, but it also swings faster. However, the scout's almost never using the melee at all. Yeah, I literally carry the candy cane so I get the free health. And I think that's a good idea for comp. I don't- I've, I've never heard anyone tell me it's a bad one. Yeah, candy cane's a fucking horrible idea. You got soldiers and demos all around, and if they- if you're not overhealed and they hit you with one close range, uh, explosive, they will instantly kill you. Oh yeah, cause the explosive. Right. Yeah, you didn't think about how high that changes, did you? It, it turns you into a one-shot. Yeah, I didn't... See, the, the trouble is I also get the sustain if I... if As a flank, apparently that's, like, really important because I'm not, I'm not going to be... I'm going to be away from my team. Yeah, you know how you sustain yourself? So my job is to not consume the... their resources. Yeah, here's how you sustain yourself. You learn where the fucking health packs are or you safely return to your medic um, and ask for healing. Also, here's the other thing. You don't. I don't think you realize that the candy cane, when you get a kill and it drops a health pack, enemies can use that health pack too. <laughs> oh yeah, I've had that happen. But then I killed that guy too. You, look, the point is, don't fucking equip well, well, it. If I mean, you equip that and build a competitive like, game, like, they'll assume you're throwing and they'll hate you. Isn't like, hang on. So, isn't that a good thing that it drops? Like, because if I'm over here and you die, guess what? Most TF2 players are hardwired. W. W key towards it. Because they want it. They want that health. So, guess what? 
Now I can predict them easier because now they're not doing this. They're doing this. They're going to straight line towards it, at least from what I've seen. And that's how I managed to kill that second soldier because he because I managed because I killed his body. The will not be lined towards yeah. the tiny health pack. Wait for the health pack. The competitor players will because not be lined to towards the me. tiny health pack. They'll focus on shooting you. Huh? They'll focus on me? Completely. God, that tiny ass health help. pack is not enough of a reason to walk in a predictable path and get themselves killed. They know it. That's fair, I guess. But yeah, okay. it makes, like, I'm assuming, like, I assume these guys are at the level of Uncle Topia, and I managed to pull that off on an Uncle Topia server, so. I don't know if everyone's gonna know that. But either way, I get your point. What should I be equipping? Okay, basically, um, due to everything I mentioned, when you're scout, uh, you're basically always playing stock, except for the melee, if, uh, where you should be using the Boston Basher if you can. Um, granted, the Boston Basher is really mostly useful if you're the scout that's hanging setup, the medic, right? but if you're roaming, you might as well use a different melee if the format allows. Some melees, of course, are banned uh, and have a ban list. Um, I checked. Candy Cane is allowed. Uh, Boston Basher, I believe. I can pull it up. Hang on. Please also I'm note that um, I think the European ban list is different from the United States ban list. Right. And there's a link here somewhere. There we are. Whitelist. RDL 66. Okay. Scout melees. Okay. By the way, for secondary, I am only allowed the winger or stock. This is correct. A lot of scouts other secondaries have um, unfair Same advantages point, yeah. in a 66 format. Fair play. Uh, let's see. Scattergun. Oh, wait, no, wait. I'm looking for... Everything's allowed. Funny enough, in the European wait, format, I think allowed? they have the Force oh. of Nature banned. If that's true, that's hilarious, but I can't remember. What, what's not? What, what, what's going on? Say again? I was saying, I think in the European format, they have some weird bans. Like, I think they have either the Force of Nature or Soda Popper banned. Uh, yeah, Soda Popper is banned in this format. Okay, so, uh, but I have literally everything available. So, Boston Basher during setup, so that my medic can get his heals in. Mm -hmm. And then I switch to... I'm thinking Fan of War? The Fan of War will almost never be used for one important reason. If you have the time to walk up directly to an opponent at close range, risk oh, your life... Is normally true. That doesn't give me everything. I'm used to Candy Cane, where it just sort of is everything. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Fan of War is not okay, recommended not fan, just because if you're going to get that close to um, make them take mini crits, then you have a little something called a fucking shotgun and you could just do 100 damage. <laughs> okay, thoughts on the Rap Assassin? The Rap Assassin, if the format allows it, is a good choice. Yeah, I'm back to the Rap Assassin Scout. Let's go. However, that's Dude, I miss my rap course. assassin. I love my rap assassin. Oh, flower. Either way, I love my rap assassin. Okay, and for the pistol, um, the winger might give you a little more jump heights overall, which can be nice. Um, but considering that you well, may I'm be using, often I'm facing using a consistent overheals, ranged damage tool. Yeah, here's the thing. Um, because in a competitive format, you're often going to be fighting overhealed targets, um, the winger is not recommended because you only have five shots. Even if the damage yeah. is slightly higher, yeah. um, the winger is only really worth it if you could just bleed all those shots straight into a squishy target at close range. But outside of yeah. that, you need the extra bullets in the, in the magazine to... Um, give you a better long long term fighting chance against overheal targets. 
So yeah, basically standard loadout is either going to be Scattergun, Pistol, and Rap Assassin, or Scattergun, Pistol, and Boston Basher, okay? Okay, and that's during setup, and then I go switch to Rap Assassin. To be, to be more I'm specific, gonna be, the, I'm Roamer, gonna be, the Roaming I'm, Scouts should probably be using the, the Rap Assassin, and the Scout that's staying with the Medic should probably stick right, with I am Boston. Roaming. That is an important thing. I am the flank scout. I put rom I put combo scout last on the list, though I should probably change that. Because I like the idea of sticking around a team as well. Because I do i I am able to engage in team fights. Mm. Okay. But I'm probably gonna stick with the scout, honestly, now that I understand that it's just a huntsman dialed to eleven. Honestly, because the funny I thing is Scout's not Huntsman dialed to 11. Demo Man is. Yeah, that's the that's the strange thing, right? So I might try that again. I might take another look at that. Either way, I can like I can restock my classes. I can redo my classes. They they announced team picks on uh Saturday, so I'm good for that. Okay. But I've realized that movement is just Huntsman doubled up, and I told you how I figured that out. I hit the boom. Yep, it may look like crazy movement, but any bit of movement that lets one less shot hit you is worth it in competitive. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I came from, like, yeah, like, I came from pubs. This this was, like, a, a fucking joke. You did this as, like, a joke to fuck with people. Right? But now this is what I should be doing. So let me actually just hop on demo. Okay. Now, I am um, an expert demo, and I totally don't have experience on a... On a competitive Highlander team is one. <laughs> anyway. Oh, this is so fucking limiting. What the fuck? Oh, it's so much slower than... Wait, is Sniper this slow? Actually, Sniper no, is faster. slightly faster. Sniper, sniper is faster. This feels great, dude. S sniper has 100% base foot speed. Devil Man has 93% base foot speed. I mean, yeah, this feels like fine, but it's not... Oh, I feel a little fat. Christ. Well, yeah. But I suppose but for I am a little reason, fatter than a sniper. For good reason. That was hunter. the most powerful class in the entire game. That's fair. He's the most powerful class, but he, because he's slow as well, and people usually don't play two of them on a team. Um, they usually have one on a team. But the damage he can output is ridiculous. You're basically sticking yeah. with... Um, uh, basically, any grenade launcher will do, though I do tend to recommend the regular. Um, the sticky bomb uh, launcher stock one is going to be just best. Just because I really don't like Huh? What's up? I was, just, I was just going through some more tips. I guess you spaced out. I, yeah, I literally didn't hear a thing. You were dead silent to me. Wow. That's weird. Anyway, um... Okay, so I'm trying to think. Um, I was originally in the mindset of teaching you scouts, but if I'm going to teach you some demo stuff, uh, what should I start with? Um, should probably. Uh, maybe we should actually. I want. I want to fight someone at the minute because now I understand that movement. I can like actually just sort of do movement. You know, I can just do the funny list style on you movement, right? List style on you predictive movement, and just play it like huntsman with extra steps. Because I know how to play Huntsman. I've managed to fuck over Aki a few times with Huntsman. Alright. Please note, though, Demo Man is the polar opposite of Scout. Um, Demo Man actually can enjoy low ground. Because look at this, for example. The projectiles move on an arc. So well, yeah, you can I, hit I managed people to get Aki like that up you. there. Yeah, I can go where I can't see with that. Like, I managed to do that and nail Aki once. Yes, exactly. You're starting to get it. Now, yeah, also I've, think about I've it this way. Before. If there is a scout or a soldier standing where you are up there, if I use the sticky bomb launcher and fire a grenade and then detonate it midair when it's when it's finished arming itself, yes, I can harass spinning. them to get them off the high ground. Well, yeah, it, it does uh, recoil, doesn't it? Or it does a blast push, yeah. 
yeah, the ability to have the, the explosion, the explosive explode mid-air is a unique power that only the Demo Man and the Pyro's detonator have. Give me, give me one sec, let me try this. Wait a fucking second, wait a fucking second. What? I'm connecting another dot. Which is? I, I use this normally in pubs. Right? Because it's funny to go to a point and do that and push you around. Yes. And like nail you. Can I theoretically Can you theoretically what? Can you speak words? Hang on. Yep. Yes, I can! I can do the same fucking thing! I, I hopped I on that, that actually, but... That's a different thing. <laughs> well, yeah, I get it, but I can just sort of... Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, how do I... I want to blast you around. Why aren't you going anywhere? <laughs> well, I'm dodging you, first off. Um, second off, you should really not be practicing with the quickie bomb, because I'm pretty sure it's banned. You probably should be practicing with uh, the... Oh, no, the it sticky. is... Actually, I'm going to cry if it's fucking banned. Let me take a look. Pyro Demo Man. Quickie Bomb Launcher. Legal. Really? I get to use it. Yeah. Everything is legal. Okay, but here's the thing. That thing has half the damn clip size of this. And in a sustained fight... Well, that's fair. Yeah, in a sustained fight, I get to just keep fucking doing this. That's fair. Like you said, just sort of, oh, quickie bomb's fine. Oh, okay. Here's I guess a, you would want more. Let me give you a tip that you probably didn't think of. Um. Okay. Go ahead and uh, take out your loose cannon and, um. Let's see. You see this wall right here? Yeah. I want you to go ahead and uh, just stand right about where I am here. And. I want you to focus on, like, a specific point of the wall, like, uh, I don't know, like, you see how there's, like, these okay, little, there's a little 90-degree vertice right here? Just focus on that with your crosshair, or I this 90-degree uh, vertice here. Yeah. Now, Okay, I've got my point in the wall. Now, if you fire a grenade while pointing at that wall, you should notice that it doesn't land directly where you're aiming, it lands a little to the right of where you're aiming. Right and upwards, yes. That is something you have to compensate for in order to directly hit moving targets. Because as you might know, when Demo Man lands a direct shot, regardless of how far it is, it does a flat 100 damage. But I've got an idea for this. That could be funny. So, if you're still listening, that means when you're fighting people with the grenade launcher, you need to aim at them slightly left. Well, right, I've seen that, and that I don't know why. Like, why can't they just fix that, bro? It's not about fixing it. The projectile literally comes from the right side of your body, so they make it. I mean, I guess. It's the same with soldiers' rockets. In fact, it's the same with your fucking huntsman! It's not the same with my fucking huntsman. That comes out right in the middle. No, it doesn't. Wait a minute. Okay. Stand up Point to the, the wall. Middle. Fire. Stand up to the wall. Focus on your crosshair. Fire. Yep. Right in the middle. Get closer to the wall. Okay. I'm focused here. What? I fucking told you. I never even noticed. That's... If you want to win close range engagements as a huntsman, you have to compensate for that by aiming more to the left. Any any weapon that is a projectile weapon um, that's in the right hand, um, you know, I mean, even if you switch your your screen to a lefty looking screen, it'll still come out of the right anyway. Um, and you have to compensate for that when aiming with projectiles. So, do you ever notice how in my streams I'm landing ridiculous fucking grenades on people? Yes. It's 
the truth is, it's not ridiculous. It's because I'm aiming slightly to the left of where their body actually is, so that I land the direct hit. Um, and when I'm aiming in advance to compensate for their movements so to try to land a grenade, I am still aiming slightly to the left of where I think they'll be. I should be doing something like this. Hey. Okay, so how do I do that? That repositioning? Because you mean aiming just, me... slightly to the left? No, I mean repositioning you. It seems to be an explosion. Does the same thing as a loose cannon hit? Loose cannons have very high knockback. I would not rely on the knockback as a demo. Well, no, no, the no. Because only... what I used to do, what I did in pugs or pubs, would be to oh, there's the point. Oh, hang on. I've fallen. What? Oh, yeah, look. Demo man on the point. Bye. Right? Bye-bye. Off you get, you know? No. And then you'd have to, like, do that. Apparently that fucks my team really hard, though. Yeah, look. No one's gonna take you seriously uh, if you're running around with a loose cannon and cop. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I don't even take myself seriously. Either way. Yeah, but you're going as a cop, so learn to little... take yourself seriously or they're gonna boot you out. That's fair. So look, if you're a competitive, you need to be using either essentially the, the iron bomber, lock and load, or this. The loose cannon's main benefits is two things. It can knock people back very far, which is, doesn't mean too much in a 6v6 format. Um, or um, it is the fact that it can hit someone directly, and if you time the fuse right, it could do a mini crit damage secondary explosion, yeah. which can kill uh, squishy classes. Granted, that means killing squishy classes that aren't overhealed. Fair. It's a lot better and more consistent if you just land a grenade on someone and it does an instant 100 damage regardless of range, and it has a longer range. So, for example, yep. you're, like, all the way over there. Lol. You're all the way over there. And even that explosion right there, at this distance, uh, did 56 damage. That was still more 30. damage than your shots. That's fair. So if I... Kabam! I have achieved the dopamine. Oh. See, that's sort of why I stick with Iron Bomber. I just really don't like rollers because they're unpredictable. Here's the thing, though. The Iron Bomber and the uh, regular grenade launcher, they both have the same exact arc when you fire the grenades. You're trying to directly contact the body of your opponent with the grenade, not right, fire so it the, the So ground. the aiming thing is going to be true, whatever. Right, I get that. Yeah, so you can use either one. That's fine. Um, but you're trying to do direct, direct body contacts, but that's, you're not always doing this. So here's the thing. You're using the grenade launcher either at very close range or at very far range to pepper damage. But in m almost all situations, you're going to be using the sticky bomb launcher. And, um, you've watched Lazy Purple's video, right? Sort of, yeah. Pretty everywhere is a sticky trap. Yeah, I get the idea. No, that's not the idea. The idea is that every sticky is its own trap. Yeah, the world becomes my trap. Okay, like, so just walk a little over here for a second. So let me give you an example of something I commonly do to fuck people over and go on five kill streaks. Okay. Let's say I'm a little over here and I know you're about to try to start walking toward me. Okay. First movement yeah, I do, I throw a sticky immediately at my feet. The second the opponent yeah. notices it, they know if they walk over that thing, they're going to take a fat 110 damage if they're not careful. See, I uh, did that against Aki. I was like, oh, they're coming towards me. Right? And I tried to back off so that they would try and come towards me and step on the mines. Okay. Uh, it didn't work. Now, here's the thing. Remember, each one is a trap. Tell me, what happens when you slowly surround someone with multiple traps? Uh, Oog becomes in, within the cage built by Oog. Or Boog, in this case. 
but let me be let me be more specific. If you put a trap in one location and they think they have another move, but you put the next trap right where they're about to move, um, they, one of two things they happens. They get restricted, yeah. Either they walk in that trap and you detonate it and deal a high amount of damage, or option two, they notice that sticky fly past the midair and they correct their movement again. Which Making means... them predictable. Exactly. You're getting it now. Each tra- each separate stick in like the a trap thing, but like allows backwards. you to guide the movements of your opponent. Not only does this allow you to eventually guide them into walking in a Where circle and then trapping themselves in a bunch of stickies, it also means you force them to be predictable, which means your teammates can land their shots way the fuck easier. Do you understand? This is like god moment. Holy shit. This is five head as fuck. It's like the health pack. It's like the thing I was trying to do with the health pack, but like backwards. Because instead of going for something they want, they're going away from something they don't want. Exactly. Why do you think I do such ridiculous godlike kill streaks when I'm on TF2 with my pimp jihad? You think I've you think I paid sixty dollars for this thing for no reason? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. So, well, I guess you're sort of like, I guess you're sort of combining them, right? Like, so what you're probably doing is going here, 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 and you're probably like, oh, you're gonna go through here, so that. You can so that's do that, that but, like um, that. The, but the switch, the switch speed of trying to fire another shot is not necessarily worth it. The idea is basically the following. Um, you, like, stand here for a sec. Let me just, let me get rid of my palm. Okay. So step one is that um, I notice you. The second I notice you, I actually fire one grenade behind you as you're about to approach me. Then step two is that I fire a grenade immediately in front of me. This makes you want to back up. I already threw a grenade out beforehand. The second you back up, you're either going to die, or if you noticed it earlier, you're going to try I can to do move one of left these or two right. things, which makes things predictable for you. Exactly. And then one of two things happens. Or I could do this. Either you hit me and I die, or I get out and I live. So one of two things happens here. Um, option one is that um, you might move a direction, and then if I know there might be a wall there, I might toss a sticky just At where you're wall. about to walk but that's not going to immediately be detonated. Remember, stickies have a 0.8 second arming time, which means you don't want to fire the sticky um, where they're about to walk necessarily. You want to fire the sticky where they're about to walk when it's ready to detonate. So let's say, for example, this situation happened. I fire the sticky in advance. You start approaching. I put a sticky here. You want to go ahead and flank a little to the left. I put a sticky all the way over there. And if you continue to walk to the left, by the time you do so, you're going to walk into an arm sticky. An arm and I die. Which means you don't right. want to walk that way. And now... Which means now I have to do this. Which means you're going to have to... Um, I'll, I'll put the stickies back. Yeah, you're good. Okay. So this means now that we have these three, uh, where did I put that third sticky? What the fuck? I'll just put one here. Okay. So now that we so have now this I'm circle- fighting and I want to do this. No, now I go this way or I can go this way. Yeah. Now there is a wall that you can't escape oh. from. You've been literally cornered. You have little to no movements without severely damaging yourself. At this point, you gotta trapped. place a sticky right it's in the right middle, right. and now they're really trapped. They're gonna, you know, take heavy damage anyway. I'm gonna take desperate measures to come over here. If they take that desperate measure, they take 121 Ow. damage to the explosion radiuses. That's almost a full kill on a scout, right there. Fair enough, I guess. Which and means imagine if someone fired I can't, a few pistol bullets at them way. beforehand. So they don't the want to risk that. Move, then, now that I recognize explosion radius is to go here, but you have a plan for that, don't you? You can just sort of do that. And then I die. Yes. I get it. Essentially. Or I could whip out the grenade launcher if I I feel like I can comfortably land a shot after 
switching weapons. Now remember, switching weapons takes time. So you preferably want to just stick with the sticky bomb launcher. And remember, you probably wasted one to two stickies setting up your opponent to corner them. If you use the quickie bomb launcher, you're only going to have two sticky bombs left, and that might not be enough to kill a soldier. Um, or a devil man, depending. It might be enough to kill a scout if they're not hopping around too much. Um, this is why people stick with a regular sticky bomb launcher, because you'll have an additional four bombs. That's fair, but the trouble is that that suffers in direct combat when I'm trying to, like, sticky fight you. Like, if I'm trying to do this, that suffers. Because suddenly now I have to do this. If we're in sticky combat... Oh, sticky. Yeah, it means I have to sort of keep more of my distance anyways. No. Hey, no, man, this is like Huntsman of Extra Steps. Just move. Okay, yeah, this really fucker, this fucker really slows down. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but now, like, actually just push the fuck out of me, I really can't do anything about it. Like, at least with my sticky. Like, I just tried to, like, actually... Oh, hang on. Huh? Sticky bomb launcher good? I just fell for the trap. Oh my god. You're starting to notice. No. Let's clear that out. You're also using a you're also using a launcher that can get rid of stickies. Uh, unless you're using the regular sticky bomb launcher, in which case you're not. I'm using re I'm using regular sticky launcher right now. Okay. Also, here's a little quick tip. You know how with the quickie bomb launcher you can hold left click to charge its distance? Yeah. You could do that with the regular sticky bomb launcher, but all you gotta do is just hold the grenade for like half a second. And it'll fire significantly farther. And that little bit of distance, in difference to your regular distance, fucks with your opponent dramatically. They won't know whether you're firing at the standard distance or the slightly farther distance. You see how much farther this is? Just these, uh, these two right here, that one and uh, that one. That dramatic little change in distance gives kind of me everything. In most cases, you're not necessarily charging it to fly that far, though it is good for slowly chipping your opponent's damage at long range, but um, in general, you're either be doing just regular shot, or you're slightly charging it for like half a second. And that half a second changes the distance by like a whole three bodies worth of distance. Mm. Also, okay. um, here, here's see, a little see, the, thing. The problem still sort of exists for me. But like, mm -hmm. if you just sort of like, all right, come at me. Come like, walk, like turn around and walk sort of towards me. Hold on, I'm just, I'm just standing here for a second to display to you that um, it still comes out the right side. Wait. Out. All projectiles come out the right side and then go eventually to where the crosshair is pointing. But then why did... Let's see, Dino says, it kind of looks like you're putting together a competitive team, bunny-san. Oh, bunny-san. No, not... Yeah. Did you... <laughs> Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, 
I did I did not aim those two any differently. I pushed S. Hang on, let me do this again. Okay. Aiming there. Here. Here, I'm aligned with the wall. I already told you it comes out the right side. Why? What are you doing? Okay. That comes out there. Ow. I think you just accidentally right. discovered the next thing about sticky pumps. Oh, no, I know, I know they did that. Hang on. Okay, so I'm here, right? One, two. One, two. What? I changed nothing about my aim. Is that like the arc? Is that the arc work? Is that the... Is... The bombs do naturally go slightly above the uh, where you're aiming. Um, it's the same for the well, grenades yeah. as well. They, uh, they are so slightly right. upwards um, no, and no, no, then no, they the, fall from gravity. If I'm here, right? If I'm here, right? Mm -hmm. This came out here, right? Where these bombs are. Yes. What? Ow. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> what? Why did, why did they go? What? But, but they go there. Are you talking about oh, how they go oh, higher? No, I've, I've just discovered what an arc is. I've discovered that. Because it starts, right? If I drew a picture of my little crosshair, mm -hmm. right? Right? Like, if I draw a picture of my crosshair... Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, right? I, I can hear Cotton it mowing goes. down bone with a minigun in the distance. Ah, the sound of war, right? One two, three, four, five. It goes from here, from here up to here and then down again. That's the arc. I've just discovered that. Well, I mean, I should have discovered it a while back, but I just sort of mentally processed that, that that's what's happening. Yes. And, then it, and then you step back and then it'll have time to go up. So you, you won't have to change your aim. But then the sticky bomb will come out above the sticky bomb. It'll come out here. I've discovered that now. Yeah, we found an arc. Yes, I know this. <laughs> well, at least you're learning it. Um, Dude, this is wild. I'm learning shit. Very good. I'm annoyed I have to basically draw a line next to my fucking crosshair. But, you know, whatever. You don't necessarily have to draw a line. You just have to slowly get used to the distance of the arc itself. Um, and like I said, most people aren't necessarily relying on the grenade launcher to get all their kills. Grenade launchers for rather either close range situations or far range peppering. You're mostly using the sticky bomb launcher for almost all fights. So, if I were to, say, have $5 lying around in my Steam account, it would be a cool and epic idea to get some cool-ass skin for this, or like a strange of some kind. I wouldn't say strange. Stranges are more expensive anyway. You want to get yourself yeah, something like, that actually shows like off, get a kill streak. That's fair, but I'm not getting a fucking kill streak. A kill streak is the only understand. true way of showing off. A strange just counts your kills over time. That just kind of tells people how long you've been playing, but it doesn't ever show them how good you are. A kill streak weapon will just actively show the whole server, hey, this dude just started a five kill streak. XW. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, so let's see. War. What's the war paint? War paint. It's kiln. Uh, kiln something. Shop, no, back, items. Please don't explode me. God damn it. I can't believe this bunny teacher is exploding all over me. Kill and conquer. Icky launcher. That actually looks kind of sex.
Okay, but I, I By the way, I know what I'm buying my skin for. I think overall, you're you seem to be getting the the main ideas of demo, and um, yeah. Oh man, it's just fuck. I do not. Uh, uh, his movement feels fatty. I feel like I've gained weight. Like I'm out of like I'm out of shape compared yeah, to welcome, my huntsman. Yeah, welcome to every flask that's not scout. Anyway, um, you know how uh, I taught you how stickies, um, being their own individual traps, can lead a person's motion. Yes. You could do that with the grenade launcher too. Well, right. If, that's why I like the iron bomber. That's because fine. you do that with the you do that with the uh, roller. I can just oh all right, or wherever the fuck the roller goes. The like, iron for example, bomber's better for one-on-one -on -one engagement. I can just do that. We the iron bomber's better down there. Yeah, that's fine. The iron bomber's better for one-on-one -on -one engagements. Um, against large amounts of enemies, though, the larger explosion radius of the regular grenade launcher when it hits a person and then that explosion travels to enemies nearby them, um, is more effective. So it's it's really just um, whether you want the all-rounder or you want the one designed a little more for 1v1s. The, the Iron is okay. more than 1v1. A, okay, so in sixes, what is Demo Man's job? Is he the main... He is the main party, right? The main party sort of centers around the Demo, right? And the soldier. Yes, because And they have a scout that can back him up. Right. Yeah, Denmo's a bit slower. So, He's essentially the the heavy of the group, to, to use a, a yeah. word that fits, I guess. Okay, and so th that means he's mostly going to be fighting groups then. Yeah, so it means right? that Demo Man gonna is mainly going to be fighting Demo Man and the and yeah, overall groups essentially. You're never going to have yeah, a roaming Demo the, Man. Here's... That's not really going to be a thing. If you try to sticky jump with a grenade, these things do a whopping amount of damage to you. I just did 75 damage to myself, and then I just lost 24 health on the landing. Equip sticky jumper? I can't even remember if the sticky jumper is banned or not, but I would imagine it uh, is. Sticky jumper is legal. Really? Everything's legal. Yep. Interesting. Everything, in, ev all the all the melees are legal. Everything's legal for Demo Man, except for the. Uh... Oh, wait, those are both soldier weapons. Everything's legal. Demo Man has his whole kit. Scout, I'm severely limited. Soldier, I can't use the whip, nor the cow mangler, and I'm pissed about that. But everything else is good. But if I wanted to, I could take a fucking golf club with me, even though that's the worst sword. It's the it's essentially the like, Islander as a reskin. Which is the worst sword, yeah. Uh Solar Light did a whole thing on it. Like Claytamore and the uh the Scotsmans and the Persians, they're all like specialized. They can do stuff. Right? And uh, frankly, maybe, maybe I should be taking the Scotsman Skullcutter, because that just leans into the idea of the, like, the larger melee range and damage. But it, but it sort of, like, goes for that heavy of the group idea, where it has the damage bonus and slower move speed. Yeah, there's a problem, though. Um, all the swords and the Skullcutter, they have a slower, um, they have a bit of a slower switch to and put away speed. So if you're in the middle of the yeah, fight and you really gotta take out a melee, you're gonna take it out slower than the enemy. Sorry? If you use the swords or the Scotsman skull cutter, they are slower to take out and put away, which means that you're gonna be making yourself slower than your opponent in dealing the next blow of damage. That's fair. So that leaves me. I can't use that, I can't use no, 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 no. Zatoichi? No, slower. That leaves me the stock and its reskins, essentially. And the Olympal Caver, which is also legal. 
Funny enough, it, it was banned before it got the nerf for good reason, because it could just fucking one shot. I people. love the old caber. But I mean, wouldn't it be a wouldn't it couldn't it be argued that it's a fair trade off because it's an immediate trade? Because it kills both of you, right? Eh, well, the not old necessarily. one did. I don't suppose it would matter. Either way, right? Uh, if we're going with stock and stock reskins, then the plank is the best idea, because that just gives you capture rate for in exchange for a bit more bullet damage. But we're dealing mostly with explosive classes, anyways. The only one who has bullets is the scout, and I don't think syringes count as bullets. Perhaps. Um, I will note capture rate is not necessarily the biggest deal unless you're looking at like the final points. One of the three middle points, um, their rates are slower overall, and so it doesn't really matter about your capture rate so no. much as making sure the enemy team is mostly dead. If I mean, you I guess, use the pain train, then you're increasing the damage you things. take from bullets um, by a relatively significant margin. Um, it will mainly make scouts a pain in the ass. The other classes are very rarely, uh, soldiers are very rarely using shotgun. So... Okay, so... But, okay, but again, we now have my bottle, reskins, or the plank, or the caber, but I'm not taking the fucking caber. I just say use, just just use like the stock really melee to be safe. Huh? Just use the stock melee to be safe. Well, I mean, why? Well, I mean, I suppose, but like, it's only a 10% debuff, right? A 10% damage vulnerability. Is that really like super duper bad? When like all of the maps are objective maps, capture rate's gonna be a, a little bit important. At the very least, it's going to help the team capture a bit faster, which could help snowball, right? Like, like let's do a little theory crafting. Actually, let's, they gave us the maps, didn't they? Uh, we can see what maps they are, and if capture rate matters, then whatever. What maps will be played? NC info, rad. Calculator. Okay, Capture Point Process, Capture Point Snake Water, and King of the Hill Bagel. Yeah? So, it's CP and Koth. Which means we're always going to be playing objective. And there's only one class that can do bullet. I think the choice is pretty obvious. But I can completely understand your reasoning for the other ones. Remember, there's two scouts, not just one. Um, well, right. What, but, and think like, about it this he's way. He's going to be support. That 10% yeah. difference means that at medium range, if you're in a one-on-one -on -one with the scouts, instead of the scout possibly killing you with um, four shots at medium range, um, you'll likely die with three shots. That means they okay. can kill you with one extra shot. They don't have to worry as much. I mean, I suppose. Uh, do you want to go as scout? Let's like let, let's let's shot this out. I want to see the damage for that. Oh, I should also warn you. Scout like, is the direct yeah. counter of Devil Man. Huh? I said scout is scout is the hard Devil counter. Man's direct counter. I suppose, but if I just place a pipe, you die. If you land the pipe. Well, okay. If I land the pipe, all right. So, all right, so shoot me from there. Shoot me from what you would consider a, like, a chip range. Because normally... Ow, that kind of hurt. What? Did you want me to fight you or not? You fucking... I mean, yeah, go ahead. How much damage did each shot do? They're doing 11 damage per shot at this range. Shit, that's a bit much. Okay. Ow, ow, That's doing ow. about 26 damage per shot at this range. Okay. So let me just sort of die. And go with... What's funnier, the ham shank or the necro smasher? I'd say ham is funnier. Ham? Ham. Oh, it made a funny noise. It made a funny noise when I selected it. Oh, I like this. Right, so let me go back to where I was. 
So that was what? 26 damage with the scatter gun? And eight, you said, with the with the pistol? Ow. Yeah, granted you're that next closer did... right now. You were on the third over there earlier, but uh Okay. Oh. Ow. Yeah, so now I'm doing ten. Um, so at longer ranges, you don't really notice the percentage as much, but in a, in a medium to close range fight, that's where it starts getting really nasty. Yeah, ouch. That was, oh yeah, that and don't forget that you fault. deal yeah. damage to yourself with explosions if you're not careful. Okay, there you go. You landed a shot. Couldn't free up that. Oh, I'm stuck. When a scout is on high ground and controlling it, you want to fire a sticky to detonate midair to try to push him off that high ground as soon as you can. If you need to charge the sticky for just like a millisecond to make it move farther, that's good. That's good. You're getting it. Now I, as the scout, am slowly ah, want... approaching. Ah, my quickie bomb launcher would have, would have killed you, man. Like I. Mm. Wait a minute. This is what I need to be using. I know where you like to go, so let me just... Let me just... Ow. Did you know that the scout can run away from engagements he doesn't like and come back later for two seconds? Am I later? Yes. Essentially, I mean, you're gonna be like there and there, and there and there, and there. Oh. The other thing, when you're a demo man, most of the time a scout is honestly just gonna see you as a free pick and just run directly at you. Fair enough. Also, that is a banned weapon, Lamau. It is. Only because of the damage buff. No, well, technically it does fire faster, that's true. Well, yeah, I mean, I got fucked by that. Die. Oh, fuck you. Alright, get over here, buddy. <laughs> Gents are death. Uh, get over here, buddy. I missed my flank. Look at me, Ma. I missed my flank. Wait a minute, I'm connecting a dot here. Which is? Let me just try this out. Plank's gonna suck for that, specifically. I don't know if I'm gonna get any long range engagements without my, like, long running engagements like this without my team. But for this specifically, the bullet vulnerability sucks. So that was much faster. Wait, okay, so. If I stick with my team, this shouldn't be a problem, right? Which is Demowin's entire job anyways. He's like the nucleus of the fight. So Which is why the flank scout is trying to, to kill me. you. Right? That's like the theory of it, right? I'm sort of the nucleus. Then there's my soldier who's also the nucleus. Then I have my medic back here and my scout over here. Let's see. My scout around. And, let's see. Statics in my chat says, I think you turn up your sensitivity and you play better. 
Um, to an extent, depends on the player. Bad. For me, statics, I'm actually more of a projectile player than a hit scan player. However, I am teaching Red Rose here the basics of a 6v6 competitive format and starting to get them used to different things. Okay, uh, but like, am I gonna face this situation where I am, it is me and a scout and no team? Is that going to happen in sixes? Because it really doesn't seem like that's the case. It's but rare, if it but is, then what's I'm more fucked. likely to happen is that if you're not looking, you might be, let's say, like, let's say, for example, you're, I don't know, walking across this bridge right here. Okay, my team's with me. D -d 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 -d. I'm walking across. Oh, 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 hello. Yeah, and I got molested by that. Yeah, do you but see why scouts love the high ground you? now? Yes, fair. I understand that. You can have teammates uh, surrounding you, but the scout can drop down from above or on a small height just ledge or you. just circle a corner and just fuck you. I mean, I guess, but... And also, I can just hop- I can hop off the platform, be midair, and then I can just hop right the fuck back on. <laughs> I mean, I guess the risk is non-negligible. It's just, how rare is this incident? Because I really don't know. And that is literally the- de this is literally the deciding factor of whether or not I take my favorite weapon with me. Once again, you don't want to. You don't want a chance that little extra damage you take making one less shot needed if your opponent needs to take one more shot to kill you that's a little bit more time your medic has to try to like switch their meta beam from a different teammate to you or for you to try to land a shot or well anything and milliseconds well, really then, do count but doesn't that make the capture faster so that you have to work faster which means you need the low and less shot which only accelerates the entire game but the game is decided by how many um, teammates or enemies are still alive to do the capturing in the first place. If you're trying to capture the same rate as a scout, um, like even the scout's double capture rate doesn't matter as much in the middle three points, which is almost the whole game. Um, well, yeah, so one, but one extra, sure, it doesn't make all the difference. Because remember, it's like you're constantly fighting and that... slowly chipping away each other's teammates until one team has killed more than the other. It's a slow grind. Um, and in that slow grind, you don't want to make it so you can take more damage. Well... It's the, if, think about it this way. There's a reason you're not equipping the Highlander, right? Well, yeah, because it's because it's slow. And no, it it's because you have twenty-five less health. Yeah, and it opens me to that vulnerability. That's the same thing as the pain train. But the pain train isn't slower. But You're it trying does to have a trade in your mind if the if the extra one person capture rate is more important than taking the extra damage. Right, and so that, 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 right, that's sort of what the problem is, that the, the main sort of thought problem we're addressing here, and that all depends on the likelihood of taking bullet damage. And I'm trying to figure out whether or not it's likely that a scout is going to push as hard as, like, I push, because my team, I, if they're any good, they're not going to run off on their own. They're, it's not going to be you and me. It shouldn't be if I'm, if I'm not roaming, because, yeah, sure, I have ADHD, I like to fuck around, I like to fuck around, but I am the nucleus of my team. I push the point, I do the point. How much right? health are you at? 122. Oh, hold on, let me restart you. Ow. Tell me when your overheal is gone. Yeah, that was about 120. Uh, I'm so sad Hybrid Knight isn't a thing. Like in this in this mode. All right, over here, clear. Fuck, that did one hundred and fifteen damage. Normally, it would have done one hundred four. So that's ten. Da that's nine. Da that's an 11 extra eleven damage. damage. And you may not think that's much, but you once you spread that over uh, a second shot. 
um, and you are, are at only like maybe half overheal because your medic gave you a little bit of overheal to get in the fight. That's the difference between getting two shot and being able to dodge uh, a little more after the second shot and then try to fight off your opponent before they land the third. Okay, so come up to me and do that once more. And you're about to see something that no one has seen in a very long while. What the heck is that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so now shoot me twice again. I want to see if I survive the two shot. Now here's the thing. Um, if, you, no matter what, the two shot's gonna kill a regular demo man. I'm mainly talking about most circumstances where you'll be on like half like this over out. So, all right. Static says, Shoot I me. didn't know you were this knowledgeable on sexes. I am a, I am literally called Jenny of TF2, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I am very much TF2, and I know my TF2s. I know my TF2s very much, in fact. And they don't shit. Um, in sixes, right, so... I'm almost always playing Medic, though, and in Highlander, I'm almost always playing Devilman. However, I very rarely do those competitive formats nowadays because I stream, and I have other testing that the researchers make me go through. Okay, uh, right, so, shoot me. Like, from, uh, alright, go to, like, where you normally expect to be fought with as a, as a demo, right? Alright. Uh so okay, how many... give me a second. Alright, I'm gonna be... Here, here's, here. Here's yeah. where you're normally gonna be fought at as, as a demo, because everybody's gonna come at you from high ground and you got to oh. fucking deal with it. Okay, so shoot me. Uh, shoot me until death. 41, 38, 41, 48, 64. So that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? That was four shots. Okay. Also, teleports behind you. Okay. Right. So now, we'll now back to the same positions. Flank my beloved. Wait, where's my mark? It was about here, right? Something. Yeah, like. you were basically in the middle of the bridge, basically. Yeah. Okay. Shoot me down. Wait, what the hell? So that was five. Let's so see. that was four shots first. Matterbone says Jen was a tryhard comp player and is still pretty good. S still pretty good. I'll take reason. that as an insult. Pretty good. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, okay, continuing. Okay, All right, so, so yeah, no, yeah, I'll shoot you. I'll shoot you. Yeah, I got it. One, 52, 52, two, four, three. Fifty-three. So yeah, okay. Let me actually do that again because I literally did. Let, I I would have walked back the first time. Actually, I was here, wasn't I? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's so trying to be in relatively in the, the middle of the bridge. Sixty, sixty-one, fifty-four. Fuck, that's telling. That was a three shot instead of a four shot yeah, at a standard range. Yeah, because listen, you know your stocks. You know how like someone is like, oh, a, a one per two percent increase in a stock's value. That doesn't make any difference. Yeah, but what happens if you own like ten thousand of that stock? Suddenly, that two percent starts mattering like more. Dollars. Yeah, that's it's the same that's thing. Money, with, money. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing with damage percentages when it comes to TF2 and other shooter games in general. The original shot so it increases is, not is price matters, volatility it's the in the wrong direction. So all this is is price volatility in the wrong direction. Shit. Why why did no one see this? Yeah, so like that extra ten percent okay, it's the more. extra ten percent of like the multiple shots that you're taking. I'm so I'm <laughs> It's like abandoning my own son at a train station. I can't do it. The Gaming Guinea Pig 3, hello there. They say, what league did you play in, Jenny? I'll never fucking tell you. Anyway. I'll never fucking tell, based. Hell, it's like abandoning yeah, my own son, dude. Hell, you I want love something my more ominous? Thing. 
I used to be on an Overwatch competitive team too. Not one of the big ones, no, but I was on one of the first ones. Wow, that's sick as fuck, actually. Well, yeah, it was it's the like first, a, it was one of the first oh, ones, um, uh, like, like, breaking character for a second, but I don't think anyone will remember me say this. I, um, was on one of the first ever Overwatch college competitive teams. Um, and oh, so damn. I had a lot of, uh, experience from that. However, the, um, other people on that team were not exactly very, uh, what's, what's the word? Smarts? They tried to, t they tried to take, um, the competitive scene almost like a video game club more than the actual competitive scene it is. Yeah, that was. And so, um, there was one time in which, you know, I, I was able to carry them as a support role all the way to, um, the state, uh, compet you know, state competition. Um, and then they decided, you know what, we're going to treat this like a club. We're going to go ahead and just swap in one of the newbies into the team so they have a chance to play. And I'm like, chance to play? You're about to fight all the other teams in the state. You're going to get fucking squished. And then lo and behold, they got their asses beat. They got their asses beat. Yeah, and that ended that run. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's see. Oh, uh, man. Gaming says, what this div did you rough, play dude. on this game? Um, in terms of division, I mainly played um, on... Um, I kind of played in one of the smaller divisions. We never got truly to like higher and higher and higher divisions. However, I did a ridiculous fucking amount of competitive practicing. I know the different positionings of each of the classes. I know the different roles of each of the classes. I know their damage numbers. I know the ways they aim. I know their patterns. I know the specific little tips and tricks you'll do. I know many of the maps. I know where the different health packs and ammo packs are on the maps. I know which distances a scout can take to go ahead and jump from one location to another. All these little things, along with the ways people move and the stratagems, they add up. Dude, fuck, this is wild. What was the division okay, so called I'm that thinking... you played? Oh god, I can't remember at this point. I'm gonna be honest with you, gaming. I have not been in the competitive scene for... Hold on, how many years has it been? Ah, shit, hold on. Let me think. Right now it's 2024. Okay, last time I was in the Team Fortress 2 competitive um, areas on, you know, like everyone's on like team speak and stuff like that, because they're being all super competitive and bullshit. Um, that was about maybe roughly nine to ten years ago. And in terms of the Overwatch um, college competitive scene, I was um, in that. Um, I played see, college been, Overwatch, you know. Could have pro if I haven't joined the I, Navy. So that would have been about about seven, rough, roughly seven years ago, seven to eight years ago. Um, but once again, um, at this point, I'm not really going to give away too more, too much more. And overall, I wish to stay anonymous. Um, but if you're right. trying to guess if I'm like some super famous competitive player that everybody knows or something or knew in the past, um, no. I, I, I was not um, some type of super famous motherfucker. Um, and uh, overall, don't try to go searching. Because um, what's going to happen is that you're going to, someone's going to falsely accuse some ex competitive player to be me, and then they're going to be like, no, I'm not Jenny. I'm Who not Jenny. Quit that? fucking calling me Jenny. Who's that guy? <laughs> yeah, can I you imagine, can you imagine that, you know? Know? Uh, Someone just goes, bro, if I hadn't joined the streamers. Hey, I was making a Metal Gear reference. I was making a Metal Gear reference. Leave me alone. <clears throat> The funniest one! <laughs> Give me your Gentai! Maybe I should go with the sign, but like I, I don't want to use the, the funny porn image. Uh, mostly because I actually had a falling out with that person. <laughs> Yeah, for anyone who's watching and is noticing me with quite a few easy shots, please note that my specialization is actually projectiles, not hit scan. 
I'm just trying to give Red Rose here some experience. They're thinking of going into a 6v6 format, and I've been teaching them how each of the classes work in a 6v6 format and what they can expect. Uh, for example, I'll show you audience members um, something you should know. Um, I taught him earlier that if he's fighting a scout, a scout loves high ground and they constantly want to be on it. If I, you see a scout and the scout's standing here, he's going to go one of two places. Um, if you're a demo, he's probably just going to side flank and run right at you, I'm not going to lie. Scouts find demos to be easy pickings. But, um, he's either going to go this way and then use the ability to defy physics to just fucking go 90 degrees to the left here and gain this high ground and this cover. Um, or they're going to try to uh, hop over to this barrel and then use the barrel's slight amount of height increase to go here and then side flank up onto this area here to avoid the sticky that the devil's probably going to put right there. Um, just, just, as an, just a little example of uh, advanced tips and what good scouts do. Scouts have good horizontal mobility, not so much good vertical. Um, let's see, gaming says, do I have any medals? Um, unfortunately, um, I don't have any medals, um, oh god, hold on, did I earn a medal back then? Shit, it's like nine, it's like nine to ten years ago, but the funny thing is that TF2 hasn't fucking changed. <laughs> That's so wild. Kek <laughs> <Can't> W! <laughs> Lamau, alright, so, uh... So I'm probably just going to go as Flank Scout and Demo then. I'm going to change up my class ranks. Because I went Scout, then Medic, then uh, uh, Demo, then Flank, then Combo. Okay, so you didn't apply for Soldier at all, I'm guessing. No, I did not, I did not apply for Soldier. I cannot direct. I cannot do that shit. Okay, so what are you trying to learn now? Medic? Uh, I want to fight some people. Oh. Ow. You shall die for your disrespect. Fuck around and find out. You got it. Come here, buddy. Come here, Brody. You lied. You've got nowhere near the high ground. Hold it! I'm being raided by Madam Bone of the Party of Two. Thank you, Madam Bone. You get to see the fucked up taxidermy cat. was so sad. One of those- if that was a Quickie Bomb launcher, you'd be dead right now. Let's see, we don't want him going there, we don't want him going there, we don't want him going there. We don't want him going there, we don't want him going there. Doesn't go there. Yeah, you can't come close now, can you? No, it's okay. You're out of shots. Oh. God. It's so sad. I want my quickie bomb launcher back. Holy fuck. I don't know. I care. This thing is near fucking useless right now. All right. Get over here, bud. I've decided to not get over there. I am the scout and I am fast and I can choose when I fight. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Ow. It's so rough. Yeah, welcome, welcome, to, welcome to fighting the direct counter of Devil Man. Oh, this is miserable. So, should I expect to get fucked by every scout I see? Um, not like, necessarily. Aki if you remember said, to, like Aki gets on me when I die, right? Like, like as a scout, like they killed me like twice as a medic. And apparently I should not have let that happen at all, right? Which, fair. Am I exp If I see a scout, I sh should I say, there's a fair chance of me dying here today.
you know? Like, is that what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you preferably don't want to fight Scout if you see him. However, your best chance of fighting the Scout is either, um, putting around sticky bombs to force his movements, um, and then when he gets close, take out the pill launcher to land a direct hit on him, um, or two direct hits, um... I mean, that really is just your, your main strategy. Or just try to get close to a teammate to have them help you. All right, but am I going to get annoyed at myself if I die to a scout? Or is that, like, intentional game design here? I mean, it's intentional game design for the fact that the demo man, he's only got projectiles. The sticky bombs have a certain time to arm, which means the scout can walk away before it fully arms and ready to yeah. detonate. Um, the pill yeah, launcher, you have to hit a direct launcher. shot, but at close range, if you hit a direct shot, you're also hurting yourself. Um, so Devil Man is a medium is, range fighter. So I'm it's fucked, not supposed basically. to be close range. So I'm pretty much fucked, yeah? Uh, kind of. It, look, the, your best defense, I mean, combat, honestly, is if you be... learn to land the I'm... pill shots, and remember, they fire upwards and to the right of where your crosshair is. But at a long distance, they are eventually, you know, moving towards where your crosshair is pointing. But at close range, it's a little higher up and a little to the right of where your crosshair is actually looking. Okay, so, yeah, like, this is just a line at this point. It, it is not going anywhere near my crosshair. Yeah, so if we're so at this a, range... I have to do that, okay. Yeah, you have to aim a little to your own left and a little down sometimes. Sometimes it helps if you aim down and you hit their feet, and if you hit their feet and they pop up in the air, you can then shoot them while they're, you know, you know, hovering kind of in midair. I know I can use custom HUDs that add, like, crosshairs and things. I know I can do that. I guess. To... Demo Man crosshair. Let's see. Gaming guinea pigs says, don't you think they should get advice from an actual Sixes player? Well, yeah, well, mm. guess what? The actual Sixes players aren't fucking here right now. So you know what he's gonna get? He's got to get advanced Team Fortress 2 knowledge about the behavior of the game, damage numbers, and everything else under the sun he needs to know. Because even a person who is not actively in sixes right now can still teach someone knowledge. That's yeah, like I'm saying... I'm going to be getting... Um... It's, that's the equivalent of saying don't give someone a book that tells them how to do chemistry from the library because the librarian isn't an active chemist right now. Like, what? That librarian has a whole fucking collection of important knowledge that they need to learn. <laughs> Even if the librarian isn't actively practicing what's in the books, the knowledge from the book is there, and then the person can decide what they're going to do with that knowledge. Let me see. So if I was I... that, and I'm so... a veteran on this game. Oh, because I'm using the uh, the old source crosshairs, the old TF2 crosshairs. You're talking about like the I two went, parentheses and a like dot? The classic ones from, no, from like the 2009. Oh, yeah. Like you I can literally turned on crosshair. the classic crosshairs. Yeah, if you go in settings and to the multiplayer settings, there's a different crosshairs you could choose from. Fair enough. If you choose none, it does the default. If you choose default, it does two parentheses and a dot. And then the others have different other ways, like, you know, classic X crosshair, 45 degree tilted X crosshair, um, and some other options. Whatever you tend to prefer the most, that's up to you. I personally like the default, where it's just the two parentheses and the, and the simple dot. Uh, because I found this interesting game banana crosshair, mm -hmm. which literally is the 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 middle thing but off to the side for for demo like take a look at this what you're but i don't know if custom crosses no 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 uh oh my god that's the third time aki sent this meme oh you're Here direct you messaging me yeah oh the one where it's like multiple notches for arcs yeah, but it but like if you look at the images, 
they go off to the right and align with the thing. Then they align with the sort of line we drew on the wall. Essentially, that's the point of the, the custom crosshair there. Yeah. So, but I don't know if that's, like, allowed. Let's see. Static says, would you like to MGE? As much as I would like to, I'm still teaching Red here um, all the advanced um, knowledge they're going to need for practicing for sixes. They found a 6v6 um, format where they're, you know, they bring in newbies, train them to do 6v6, and then slap them on teams. Oh shit, someone, spent, someone blew $100. Wiki has no. accepted Squiddy, Porter, Bridges, something special. These motherfuckers are willing to spend $100 on a ring that announces to all players and all servers. Yet they can't bother to spend an extra dollar to name this stupid fucking thing. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic. Anyway, did I'm you say that you, you wanted to okay, practice this riding out. around now? Okay, check this out. Empty questions, right? Newbie count questions. I'm curious if any game mods or keybinds are banned. For example, I have a visual I have a visual mod that gives Medic a looks maxing jawline. Where do the rules draw the line for visual mods? <laughs> Roll once the Medic gadget. Okay, so apparently it is in the rules. Where are my rules? RGL. Game integrity. Uh, let's see. Mods. Examples of allowed mods. Flat textures. Custom HUDs. View models and crosshairs. Yes, dude! Alright, I'm, I'm game bananaing the fuck out of this. Just also know, people who are playing in very competitive formats, they tend to severely dim down the graphics so there's less, you know, visual noise on their screen. And they also tend to remove oh, the explosion yes. effect from uh, explosives so that the light from it doesn't blind them to what's around them. You can... Huh? What, 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 say that again, what can I do? How do I do that? Um, there's... You can make modifications to your display uh, in-game, where um, you can make it so instead of seeing an explosion and its whole animation and its light and everything, you can make it so there's no light or explosion. It detonates, but... Oh, you can just you turn off the explosion, explosion effect. Yeah. I thought people just did that for, like, the FPS, because they're running on potatoes. On the, no, they're all got good computers, but they run things like a potato. One, just to have very high frames, but two, to avoid the visual clutter that your eyes have to take in as you look around. The less complicated everything else around you looks, the, the less info your eyes have to take in, and more it could just focus on enemy players and basic platforms. That's fair. That's why you'll also have I mean, to notice that Stabby Stabby does the streams with, like, the worst fucking potato game. graphics you've seen in your goddamn life. I feel like it... Ooh, we added a second variant of the crosshair. Updates. Added second. Okay, so we've got... That variant, and we've got... This other variant, then. Which has... That. Dude! This crosshair is so cool, and I'm allowed to use it. That's great. Um, do you want to practice now with your pipe aim? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, this should be like Huntsman dialed to 11, right? Because it's like prediction, but slower. Which means yeah, I have I remember, to sort of like... Just like the Huntsman more. arrows, it comes out slightly... Uh, it comes slightly to the top right of where your crosshair is, just like Huntsman. Okay, on, so this goes... One, two. Yeah, okay. One, two. I was here, right? No. One, two. Oh, You're that's here. slow. You detonate that, I'm killing you. One, no, no. two. One, two. Fuck, that's slow.
Okay. Now, now just now, one last tip before we begin. Remember how you could like make people go the direction you want with stickies? It's kind of the same with yeah. uh, these bombs. If I fire one way yeah, and you can... dodge, you're likely going to go the opposite direction of where that bomb is going, which means you're kind of walking into where I'm about to shoot the next one. However, smart competitive players know that basic strategy, and they might just fucking stand still while you shoot the other direction. Um, it depends on who you're fighting. As much as you can in a competitive fight, you're trying to vary up how you're dodging. I'm trying to vary how I'm dodging. Okay. Yeah. So, so sometimes... like what I was doing with the husband, I was running around. Sometimes I would do this, and then I'd come back out. And then sometimes I'd jump, and then sometimes I would do something else. But trouble is, that my man's fat. Yeah, and sometimes you'll just cancel your momentum midair. So let's say if I'm jumping to the right, um, if I jump to the right in the midair, I just hold left. It just kills all the momentum, and then I just kind of stop in midair. That's another little option. Okay, let's go ahead and begin with the fight now. Very good. And I open on an advantage. Only not a big enough one, though. Ow. Yes. Ow. Think Huntsman, Nick. Hang on. Huntsman. Huntsman. I'm a huntsman. That's what I do. I hunt people. I hunt people. Holy fuck, this is hard to do without a cross it. It's actually dialed for demo. Oh wait, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, you forgot that I'm just having practice pills right about, now. I forgot, we're just dialing pipes. I'm trying to aim at you, and I'm trying to compensate for your movement, and I'm trying to compensate for this other thing, for the inaccuracy of the pipe bombs. Fuck, dude, this sucks. Yeah, it's it's not your main thing you're relying on. Do you see why people stick to the sticky bombs most of the time now? I guess. Oh shit, my bad. Hey. There you go, you broke the kill streak. Oh, fuck. Sad. Scary. I remember when Demo's original thing had six. Yes. There you go, you got me. Are you starting to get the hang of it? This is so much better than training with Aki. Aki just roasted the fuck out of me the entire time.
We should work together more. We need to work together. I'm fighting you. <laughs> yeah, we're working together because I'm getting better. My aim is still absolutely fucking atrocious, but hey, whatever. I got a crosshair on here, you're done. They say as I kill them again. Yeah, I got a crosshair on here, you're done, bro. Like, that's actually compensated, because I'm aiming, like, over here. Starting to get it, bitch. Nice. There you go. You notice that I was against the wall. That means there's less uh, area for me to move in. Did that not count as a hit? No. That's it. <laughs> hey, right. I heard a hit sound. It went... Let's see. Went... Gaming says, what division do you think you could play if I played right now? Right now? Um... Probably, co co probably college ball. I don't know. Look, if I... If you had me in 6v6s, I'd be a medic. And I would probably... Just starting, I'd probably be in the middle of um, the ranking structure. I'd get around there, and then maybe with more experience. It also depends on the teammates that you're stuck with and if they gel with you. Um, but as for a Highlander situation where I'm Demo Man, I could... I could see myself going pretty high, actually. But here's the thing. I just don't have the time for it nowadays. I'm streaming, like, five five days a week, and on top of that, the researchers are having me go through bullshit for at least eight hours a day. So, I don't have the time. But there's other people who do have the time. Um, and so, you know what? Good luck to them, and whatever they can do. Get your ass down from there! Ow. No hard read. Nah, I'm not shots. Fuck you. No. <laughs> I like how I didn't saw that and used the taunt. I knew those were wish. Actually, let me try something. What? I got a multiplayer. What are you trying? I got advanced. Where is the crosshair manipulation tool? If you're trying to change the size of your crosshair or what crosshair you use, it's not in advanced. It's just in multiplayer. Crosshair appearance. Crosshair one. See, not a bone redeem posture check. Okay. Okay, or these oh, Okay. Okay. Where's the T-style crosshair? There's more than one T-style crosshair. You'll see them. There's dot. There's default. Seven is a cross. It's... Let's see. Madabob says, a little weird that Red seems to be getting more of Jen's pipe tonight than me. What the fuck? Piss off. You don't get pipe. 
Is two a T style? I can't. It is, isn't it? Hey. I guess it's something I'm used to. And let me do my thing. Now here's the question. Are you now gonna try to move forward with fighting me with your entire kit or do you still know on pipe training? Wait a minute, hang on. Okay. Oh my God. That fixed it. That fixed everything. Because now, all I really have to do, because I turned it up to max size, if you look at my stream, all I have to do is align with you that orange line. That's it. That's where the bombs go. That's where the bombs go. That's it. I have an aligned crosshair now. Great. Because that's the size of my, even my iron bomber bombs are are the size of that little line. Dude, no okay. wonder they replaced the so the old source crosshairs. These things are great. Okay. Uh, re do you wish to continue now? Yes. I can fight you. I have a, I have an effective tool in my kit. Okay, now I have to actually predict them. So where are they going? Why am I now spectating? Ah, oh God, who's in the room with me now? <laughs> Blue bites just killed Posh. Who am I fighting right now? Crime. I'm fighting some motherfucker named Crime. <laughs> right, God. Okay, uh, you have fun with that. I'm gonna go quickly get a snack. And actually, Jesus it should Christ. probably be late. It's getting pretty late for me. I'm still gonna install that game banana one, though. And if I'm not allowed, then shit, I know what I'm doing. I need a fucking reload. Where are you going? I'm reloading. Yeah. Electroma makes apparently makes a good crosshair. It ain't sticky launcher crosshair. Uh, I like this one more. Put that in custom. <laughs> He's using the frying pan. That's awesome, funny. Okay, okay let's go to I'll my steam. that worked okay uh and i go in here and i go properties and i go browse local files
That's version 1A. That's version 2A. Oh, the version 2A has the extended lines. No, I'm gonna go with version 1. Now. I should put that in there. Alright, I think Prime's good with you. Okay, I need to restart my game anyways. I see. Okay, um, just checking. Hold on, are we past 1 a.m. right now? Actually, yeah, we're 24 minutes past 1 a.m. Whoops. Um, okay. I'll probably have to call TF2 for the night here. Um, now, tomorrow's stream, unfortunately, Aki had... I promised Aki I would do Celeste. Um, oh, God, I don't like side scrollers. But I'll have to go ahead and play that. In the meantime, you go ahead and have fun with this guy. A uh, quick word of advice. Every time he kills you, he's immediately putting a sticky where he thinks you're going to spawn next. So you're starting at That's a disadvantage. Bullshit. It may, it may feel like bullshit, but at the same time, that's how an MGE 1v1 works against Demo. The surviving Demo will immediately place a sticky wherever they think you're going to spawn. That's so you have to be ready for that. Me. Oh, quite me honestly, Brody. And remember, watch him carefully. He's an actual, uh, you, know, he's, you know, he's competitively fighting. He will shoot a few stickies, he'll trap you just like I taught you. And then when he feels he's got a clear shot, he will swap to his grenade launcher and land 100 damage quick. He's not using his grenade launcher most of the time, though. He's mostly using stickies, and he's in between using the grenade launcher if he feels he's got a clear shot. Here, okay? Come here, bud. Come here, bud. Fair enough. All right. Yeah, so find him a little more. He's going to be the type of demo that you're going to be fighting when you're in your 6v6s. Like I said, mostly stickies. And then if he feels he's got a clear shot or you're flying in the middle of the air, he'll switch to the grenade launcher and predict your trajectory. Okay. With that being said, um, I should probably raid someone. Um, raid me and then I'll raid someone else probably in like within the next 30 minutes. I guess that's fair enough. Yeah, I'll go ahead and just set the raid for you. It's fine. I hope that overall everything I taught you will help you out more. Yeah, I may need to go over it once more at some point just to make sure it sticks. But like, I would love, I would be happy to work with you again. What is hey, up with, hold on, what the hell is up with uh, my web browser? It's not responding. My web browser just crashed. It's not, no. it's not a good one to crash. What the hell is going on? Okay. Oh, I just realized it's that specific tab. That tab is broken. That's all right. I could just search moderator. Yeah, there we go. On rare occasion, Opera GX breaks um, a tab, and you just gotta make a new tab of the same thing. And there we go. Everything's functioning again. All right, I'm out. I am. Let me Rage. quickly Rage. restart my game. Okay. Uh, you said you wanted me to raid you. Yeah. Feel free, I am restarting my game at the minute. Okay, I'll go ahead and set up a raid. Excellent. All right, I got yeah. to teach someone. <laughs> so now how do I set this crosshair? All right, of the crosshair. All right, we're gonna go ahead and raid. <laughs> 